Hi there, and thanks for taking the time to set your availability in EAB Navigate, Kane University Student Success Management System. Availability allows faculty and staff to indicate the days, times, locations, and services they offer when meeting with students. Setting your availability is easy to manage, and once set, enable students to schedule appointments with you via their Navigate student app. This tutorial will go step-by-step -step through the process of adding your availability and managing it thereafter. At this time, if you're going to follow along with this recording, please be sure to log in to Navigate using your Kane University single sign-on credentials. After logging into Navigate, you'll be brought to your staff home screen. From here, you'll want to select My Availability. From here, you'll notice I don't have any availability set up, so let's go ahead and add my first set of availabilities. I'll select Actions from the top left of this box and select Add Time. From this form, I am going to choose which days I am setting my availability for. In this case, let's go ahead and select availability for Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. For the purposes of this demonstration, I am in person on Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, and will provide an option for students to meet with me virtually. Whereas on Tuesdays, I am virtual, and so the only availability I will set up is for virtual appointments. There is a full Google Calendar integration, which allows students to schedule with you based on availabilities, while simultaneously managing your calendar to avoid students booking with you when you have prior engagements. As I scroll down, that leaves us with a choice point. I can set my availability from 8.30 a.m. hypothetically to 4.30 p.m. and students would be able to schedule with me for any time within this range. However, if I add, say, lunch from 12 to 1 to my calendar, or I'm going to be meeting with my team from 2 to 4, it will block off that time in Navigate as availability for you because it's indicated as busy in Google. For the purposes of our demonstration, I'm going to leave this 8.30 to 4.30, but please feel free to modify the from and to as you would like. Then I can set how long I want this availability to be active. I can set it for forever, meaning I'm not going to change this availability all that often, or I can set it for a particular term. So in this case, I'll set it for the fall 23 term. I can also choose to include this availability on my personal availability link. It's best practice to actually add your personal availability link or PAL in your email signature. You can also embed this link in communications to students when you want to encourage them to schedule an appointment with you. As I scroll down for the purposes of this video, we're going to choose appointments. That's the type of availability we're setting up right now. When we get time or it's time for you to create your first campaign, we're going to want to recreate your availability, except make sure we're selecting campaigns instead. More to come on that in the future. Now let's select the meeting type. Now remember, I'm in person Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but students can also meet with me virtually. So I'd like to select in person and virtual and leave this up to the discretion of the student. Now, if I don't want to provide virtual options for students, I can go ahead and remove that virtual at any time. I'm going to scroll down to the care unit, and I'll choose which care unit I am scheduling a service appointment for. Advising and support includes departments such as EOF, Bridge to Success, SUPEDA, CAPS, Veteran Student Support, Athletics, and Faculty Advising. Career Services is specific to Career Services, and Learning Support Services includes tutoring, writing, public speaking, academic coaching, and supplemental instruction. For the purposes of our demonstration, I'm going to choose advising and support. Then I'll be prompted to choose a location. In this case, I'm going to choose Center for Academic Success, or CAS. I will highlight if you are a faculty advisor, adding your availability, you'll choose faculty office, as opposed to adding a long lengthy list of everybody's office location we decided to keep it generic and make the list a little bit more manageable for our, us as users. So just go ahead and select faculty office if that aligns with your particular location. 
but for this I'll do Center for Academic Success. Depending on the location I choose will determine what type of services I'm offering. And so in this case, I'll say meet with my CAPS advisor. If the list is applicable, you can choose another item here as well. As I scroll down, I'll be able to choose a URL. At Kane, we use both Zoom and Google. As a user, you can choose whether or not you provide a virtual location via Zoom or Google Meet. The advantage of Zoom is that you can record the session and you can also enable a waiting room. Whereas for Google Meet, it's really easy to use and a lot of our students are familiar with it. Regardless of which location you choose, you'll just paste the URL for your virtual meeting location right in here. Now we have an opportunity to provide special instructions for students. In this case, I might say something like, in advance of our session, please provide me with this document. If we are meeting virtually, please reference the link below. Um, if we are meeting in person, here are the instructions when you arrive at the office. Maybe you have a waiting area or something like that that you could always provide guidance to the student on. The last decision we'll have to make here is how many students are able to schedule with you during one time slot. For advising, time slots are generally 30 minutes. And so this is allowing us to determine within that 30 minutes, how many students can schedule an appointment with me. If I select five and select save, and five students make an appointment with me during that time slot, it will then indicate that I'm no longer available. If I leave it set to one, a student, as soon as one student makes an appointment with me, that time slot is no longer available. The group time slots is really helpful when you might be doing group advising or focusing on um, a group type project. I'll go ahead and select save here. I wanna highlight a few things on this page. The first is I can select my office hours or availability and select actions from the top left. I have some additional options here. I can add an additional time, say for our Tuesday that's virtual. I can copy the time, which would copy exactly what we just created, and we could add some additional notes or particular meeting locations, etc. I can delete the time, and I can add that personal availability link or remove it if I would like to. I can also simply edit by selecting edit on the right side of this row. And finally, I wanted to highlight that at the very center of the screen, we have our personal availability link. I can copy this availability link, and if I would like, add it to my signature for my email. That covers everything we need to know at this time related to setting our availability in EAB Navigate. Please refer to the calendar configuration video accessible to you on the Navigate user support site. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to navigate support at kane.edu. Thanks for watching. Hi there, and thanks for taking the time to set your availability in EAB Navigate, Kane University Student Success Management System. Availability allows faculty and staff to indicate the days, times, locations, and services they offer when meeting with students. Setting your availability is easy to manage, and once set, enable students to schedule appointments with you via their Navigate student app. This tutorial will go step-by-step -step through the process of adding your availability and managing it thereafter. At this time, if you're going to follow along with this recording, please be sure to log in to Navigate using your Kane University single sign-on credentials.